So we will be repairing LEDs in an RV trailer that are either failing or are completely burnt out. We have an example of one that's failing here and then one that's actually working properly. Okay, for this job, uh, you need a connector crimper. And I like it. I bought it at a Harbor Freight. It has red, blue, and yellow. Um, those colors refer to the type of electrical connector you're using and the size. This happens to be 14 gauge. And so I'm using the uh, blue, which is, includes 14 gauge wire. It will end up going right in here and matching up with the blue color on the uh, crimper. This is solely a crimper. They're like 20 bucks. Wire strippers, and I'll show you how I use them. Wire snips. You need something to heat the uh, connector. A little bit of electrical tape. A Phillips head, a Phillips head, and a flathead screwdriver. One quarter inch female connect disconnect, and also the male uh, connect disconnect. A dielectric uh, connector. Grease. Stick a screwdriver between the dome and the housing, and pry the dome out from the housing. The dome has tabs. So it doesn't take much work prying this dome from the housing because the tabs are so small. The next step is to strip the wires. So I'm going to put this on here and I need enough for it to, uh, I just need enough wire to, uh, for it to go into the connector where I crimp it. And it's about, you know, I don't know, it's about a quarter of an inch. And I, I strip it like that. I let it off and I come out. Now I have a nice, uh, you know, copper wire to uh, to get a hold of. So now my wires are ready um, to go into the connectors. Wire a little bit, and then I'm going to put my connector on. Okay, and I'm crimping this. That's a good crimp. So that's nice and tight. So is that one. Okay, so I have two male connectors that I'm putting onto my LED board. So I have two solid connections here. That's not going anywhere. Those are crimped nice. Okay. Next step is to seal the connector from moisture. What I want to do is keep the uh, the flame an inch below this this uh, jacket, the blue jacket, and I can see the flame. It's throwing enough heat to melt that jacket. And there it is. I do it again. Again, I'm keeping the flame about an inch below. So now what I have is um, a seal right here. Right here, where the uh, where the where the uh, wire goes into the the blue jacket, and it's sealed there, so no moisture will be able to get in here in the bathroom. So to replace, take this board out, the old board, I'm going to push on these little clamps to free up the board from the housing. So this is the old one. It has the connectors on it. I snipped uh, the wire on this side of the connector. You can see that. And I'm going to put the new board in. Okay, so I'm going to put this in, this new one, without the uh, button. Lay it in here. Push this little tab up and then this final one at the kind of like stretching the plastic in this direction to fit that final tab and that is secured. So this is going in here and that spade connection is made and this one's going in here. And so now my electrical is, my connections are made. And the good news is we are getting the lights to work. Uh, all I'm gonna do now is put some tape around here, some black tape. Oh, there's one other thing I'm going to put on. Dielectric connector protection. 
okay so uh it's just a it's just a little bit of uh like um grease uh i don't know like, like and i'm gonna put it on these connectors um okay so my led is working and i'm just i've got it all taped off both lot connections just as an added precaution and for more protection for the let me shut this off more protection for the connectors and uh, okay so we're just finishing this off with screwing it in it's getting nice and tight up against the ceiling There it is. I just have to get those tabs underneath here and it's pretty much just pushing in the plastic. And there it is. Done.